Hey! How are you? I'm gonna wait for a few people to come in. Ugh, my eye. Like, what is going on with my eye? I don't even know. But I wanted to follow up on my video. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Simone. Hey, Samina. And if you guys have um, questions, please put them in the question box. But I'm going to be talking about intercourse today because I feel like when you talk about relationships, you talk about marriage, talking about sex is inevitable. And I just got to put y'all up on G, okay? Because this is important. This is very important. All right, so I already took some notes, but I always keep like two stickies around so I can write down things that y'all say as well. Hey, Lala. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to talk about who to have sex with, when to have sex with them, and how you should be doing it. All right, so we're going to get a little bit deep here. So first of all, who? You should not have, even if you have friends with benefits, because I know this is like a, a millennial thing. People want to have friends with benefits. If he doesn't have anything to offer you, you should not be laying down with that man. He still has to invest something. Even though you say, okay, I don't want a commitment. He doesn't have to be committed for that. He has to spend money. He has to be supportive. So like, Test him before you ever decide to sleep with him. Give it some time, you know, if y'all just hanging out, going out, whatever. Make sure he's spending money. Make sure that you can call him in case of an emergency. If you're laying down with somebody and you can't call them if you have a flat tire or if you get stranded at the club because your friend got too drunk, he's not somebody you need to be having sex with. Like any man I can't call in case of an emergency, I wish the fuck I would sleep with them. No. And to be honest, that's just, you know, if you're going to do it. But I think if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, you need to make sure that you have given it time. Like for me, it's at minimum 90 days. And I be running across some good dudes, y'all. Like, they be fine. They be having money. You know, some of them be old having money. Like, my last sugar daddy, he was Jamaican, light-skinned, tall. Like, and I don't even like light-skinned men, but he was old now. He was about 70. And he was just on top of his shit. Like, he was a consultant. He's a doctor. Like, he just got his shit together, you know? So... He was fine. I made him wait. I made him spend money. I made him pay for my trips. Got the key to my heart. Hey, I made him pay for my trips. I made him pay for different things that I needed. Universally felt hello. So it didn't matter to me that I knew this man didn't want a relationship with me. What matters is that you're willing to invest. What matters is I can call you in case of an emergency. Hey, Deborah. Deborah, De okay, yeah, that is Deborah. <laughs> I had to make sure I said it right. So that's who you should be sleeping with. Either they have to be rich if they're not rich, because some of the a lot of the men I dated weren't even rich for real. They were just providers. So as long as I don't have to come out of my pocket, we good. Okay. Next, when you should sleep with them is when they make a heavy investment. So this means when they've spent thousands of dollars, when they've taken you to several places, when you've called them several times, you know that they're accountable and when they've been around for a while. Just because you're just sleeping with somebody, if you're just having sex with them and you're saying that there's no emotions involved, there should be no reason why he can't invest in you after a while, right? Wait on the money, if anything. And it's only because you're valuable. Like, I understand the concept, okay, well, I just want sex. I'm a woman who likes a lot of sex. But still, you're a woman, and you should be taken care of. Like, you should know, even within a sexual relationship, you're still the prize regardless. Like, he's lucky for you to even think about having sex with him. For the thought to even cross your mind. He's lucky, period. Okay? The next thing... Don't be sleeping with individuals who don't give you orgasms. 
I can't stress this enough. I've had several friends tell me, oh, well, you can't get everything you want from a man. You know, if he's a good provider or he's sweet and respectful, then he may not know how to have sex. He, his penis might be little. He's da 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 And it's like, where are y'all getting this stuff from? Because I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When I'm in a relationship, I want the total package. So if you're a good man, you're providing, which you have to do that in the beginning anyway, and I like you, the next step when I get ready to have sex with you, I'm going to tell you exactly what I want and how I want it. If he's on top of you, going too fast, tell him to slow down. If his penis is too big and he's going too far, tell him that shit hurts. <laughs> like, why the fuck do y'all lay there and not feel pleasure and just be like, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to hurt his feelings. And oftentimes, you know what it is, y'all petty? is women and their egos. Because after the relationship is over, y'all be quick to be like, oh, you're dick little. That's why you wasn't fucking me right anyway. You can't eat pussy, da-da-da-da-da. You couldn't please me. And guess what? He doesn't give a fuck. Number one, you're over, so he knows he's never going to hit it again. And number two, he kept sleeping with you and you never said anything. I'm going to give you a, a complete secret about men. Hey, Blue. A secret about men is that men want to please you. I know this for a fact. They want to please you. The reason why I've never had a problem when it came to me experiencing an orgasm or whatever with my partner is because I have been sexually assaulted before when I was younger. I was like 14. And so after that, I decided, okay, well, when I actually have sex willingly... I'm not going to allow anybody to just sleep with me any way they want to and force themselves on me and me not get anything out of it because it feels like it's, it's draining. It's disgusting. Literally, it's disgusting. So when I go into this, I'm going to be in control of it. I'm going to create the dialogue around what I want, how I want to feel, how this man is making me feel and it has to be that way. And I promise you, men are so competitive. He's going to make it a challenge to himself to pleasure you. I'm not even kidding. Like, so for those of you who are like, oh, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Just tell him, hey, can we try this? You don't have to be like, you're not doing this right. Get off me. You know, don't be disrespectful. Just let him know. I don't like this. I want to try something different. I want to switch it up. He might want to switch it up too, but he may be scared to hurt your feelings. Because to be honest, if anybody should be worried about how somebody thinks and how they feel, it should be that man. They're the ones having to walk on eggshells because we're emotional. They can't just say anything to us. You know, people, you might be insecure, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to you and how you want to feel, tell him because you are the prize. Do you understand? So just keep that in mind. So who to have sex with, they have to be rich or they have to be a provider and they have to know their role. Like, don't try to convert a dusty into somebody who is taking care of you. I've done it. Big mistake. It backfires every time. Like, because men like that, they're only taking care of you because it's something that you require. It's not who they are. That's going It's going to bite you in your ass every time. The second thing, when, make sure it's a heavy investment with both time and money. They have to put the time in because you have to see their true colors. This man might be crazy. He might be lazy. Even though y'all just having sex, right? That stuff, it doesn't change what sex is. That's a spiritual act. You will be lazy if you're having sex with a lazy man. You will be broke if you're having sex with a broke man. So it's kind of like, why even be friends with benefits anyway? But, you know, whatever. And then lastly, how to do it. Make sure it's the way you want. Speak your mind. Tell him if it hurts. Tell him what you want. If you want him to eat you out, tell him to do it. The way I operate, like, I'm not even going to have sex with a man that doesn't perform oral sex on me. For what? That's what I like. Now, there's some women who don't like that. That's cool. But if that's what you enjoy... If you need to have an orgasm first before he penetrates you, then that's what you need to get. Okay? Don't play with them. I'm not even kidding. All right? But I love you guys. 
just wanted to come up here briefly and drop that on you and if you make it to the end of this video please put a red heart and let me know what you think bye